Hi, in this video I want to talk briefly about HPV infection. So HPV stands for Human Papilloma Virus and it is one of the most commonly sexually transmitted infection in the world. So up to 100 to 200 million people at least uh, uh, assumed to be HPV positive in the world with over 15 million new cases each year. So it is incredibly common. So if you have been sexually active at any point to today, you may have a very high risk of uh, encountering a potential HPV infection unless you have been uh, vaccinated against uh, these HPV infections. Otherwise, you may have a very high risk group. So it is commonly transmitted through skin to skin contact and this virus will penetrate the epidermal layer of your cell, uh, skin, which means the top layer and it will burrow all the way into the basal membrane triggering cell growth. So one of the most common symptoms associated with HPV is genital warts and secondly certain types of cancer. Now these cancers can only be caused by only a few species of HPV virus but most in, uh, in most cases if you do have a HPV infection you will not develop any symptoms. 9 out of 10 patients will develop no symptoms at all and in most cases uh, this HPV infection will deal with it itself. Uh, it will go away on its own because your immune system will kick in and flush it out. Now HPV uh, causes genital warts or cancer using a cell replication cycle we know as a lytic replication cycle. It will hijack the human cells, use its machinery to replicate itself and then cause cell death by bursting out. Now once they are already replicated, they will propagate to new cells to spread and then uh, continuing this process over and over. And the second uh, possible cycle is we call an oncogenic transformation cycle. Now this is where uh, uh, there is a high risk or high potential for this HPV virus to trigger an uh, oncogenic transformation to normal human cells, which means this cell will no longer be able to control its growth cycle. It will go into a phase where it is uncontrolled growth, which is why uh, it makes sense that why HPV is associated with uh, genital warts and also certain types of cancer because these two symptoms are a result of uncontrolled cell growth. Now, here at Anta Hospital, we've already mentioned in our previous videos that uh, before you reach the stage of cervical cancer, you may need to uh, undergo an intermediate stage which is known as CIN. CIN is separated into CIN 1, 2, three depending on severity and we're here at Anta hospital if you have been diagnosed with a HPV positive infection CIN1, CIN2, CIN3 we will be able to offer you a full contractual treatment to get rid of this infection with our proprietary anti-liquid medication that can uh, prevent the replication of these HPV uh, viruses and also kill them so that they don't spread and also they do not uh, develop into a more advanced stage into cervical cancer. Now if you have more questions about HPV infections, how they transmit from one person to another, how they cause cervical cancer and what our proprietary treatment can do for you, please leave them in the comments down below. If you want more information, please visit our website.